How are you doing today, all? It's Grey Ghost Gamers coming back at you with episode three of my extreme playthrough, getting Deke overpowered as quickly as possible. We are just at the Sawmill Horde Nero checkpoint. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Before I even finish describing. Oh, let's sneak up on this guy. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> uh, where we just uh, went from uh, night to day. Let's see. Because we have no options to do changes from night to day other than from Nero checkpoints. Which isn't much of a surprise, really, because we're not supposed to be here at this point of the game. We're supposed to be getting Boozer's bandages and taking care of him, but I, I'm not. I don't care about Boozer. I've, I've totally gone off the rails as far as worrying about Boozer at all. And the amount of time, I'm sure he's, I'm sure in the real world he'd be dead. If this was really happening, he'd be dead by now. But, so... I'm on a whole other mission to get Deke OP, and Nero checkpoints are going to be our saving grace as far as being able to take a rest and advance time because camps just don't have that ability right now. Oh, it looks like there's a there was a cohort of guard freakers over there. Well, we don't. It's okay. We don't need to pay the toll at that one. Now, like I said, we are at the Nero checkpoint near the Sawmill Horde, over there in the distance. But we are going to the last checkpoint in the region, right there, Sentium Pass. There's a Nero checkpoint there, so I can get yet another injector. And just keep Deke on that stamina kick I have him going on. Yep. Uh, since I'm not using focus in this playthrough, just to keep it more real for me. But by all means, pick whatever attribute works for you. Going through water is not good, but anyway, that's the way it is. I didn't want to go to the bridge. Now, Deke just mentioned uh, infestation zone, so there's a cabin we're going to have to come back to. There's actually four nests in this area at the Santium Tunnel checkpoint. And to be honest... I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. Yeah, 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 just hang on. Okay, we just want to check our in inventory here. Okay. We're good to go. But we're riding in and uh, gonna deal with the first one ASAP. Now this bike is still a little noisy, so Ow, that's hell of a way to go. Eating alive. Yeah, okay. Getting noisy. Another mobile medical unit. I gotta find a way inside. Okay. See if there's a see if there's another injector. There is. Yes. But here we gotta, gotta deal right with here. uh Oh god damn it. Fuse blown. Yes, the fuse is blown. And unfortunately, the only way we can deal with it... What the hell was that? Okay. I've never heard that little chitter before. Who are they going after? I don't even know. Maybe I can take him out. Okay. Well, that's always okay. nice to get the bolt back. Okay. 
quiet. We want to be quiet. There are more wandering around, I can tell, because they're just really noisy. Okay. Need ammo. Oddly enough, that uh, <laughs> that skill, I'm just going to show you for a second. Uh, <laughs> which was this one, chance to receive some bolts. I, I honestly didn't think it was going to be that useful, but damn, it is useful. <laughs> And just hold steady, hold steady. Okay. I've had enough of this crap. The reason I'm adamant about taking this one out first is because the fuse that we'll need to eventually insert back into the panel there is in that alcove. So we need to burn that puppy out first. I, I don't know who they're going after, but they seem pretty frenzied about it. Weird. Even the first two that I happened upon when I first arrived just went crazy going after something. Maybe the crows? I don't know. Nah, he's too far away. Not going to worry about that guy. There's that chittering again. I don't know what creature is making that sound. But that's okay. That's what we're after. Use it. <laughs> Feels. Yes. And we'll want to deal with that first before we even worry about fueling up the Jenny. Because the generator's on the other side. Oh, nice. For once. Yeah, now we're in business. Unfortunately, Deke doing all this do it. probably, uh, oh, not yet. Getting low on ammo. Okay. First things first. That's it. I could hear those guys just. And I'm hearing wolves too. That's great. Fantastic. Why not? Light it up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you go get them. <laughs> go get them, guys. I know you freakers would be useful in uh, some capacity. This is great. <laughs> I could just go about my business. All right. I'm not exactly sure who's guarding who. Are the freakers guarding me against the wolves, or are the wolves guarding me against the freakers? <laughs> Oh boy. Oh. oh, poor doggy. Oh, nasty. Well, that, that's not going to go unchallenged. That's what you get for hurting animals, you son of a gun. <laughs> oh, you're trying to attack me? I know the crows are... Uh, also infected, but I, I don't think there's a... There's an infestation zone of crows. Like, they don't have... There's no crow's nest here. 
Anyway, just got to make sure, follow those lines, make sure I'm not missing any speakers. Because once I start this up... Oh, we will take that bandage, thank you. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have to worry about those crows. They're not, they're just flying around, nice. buzzing around, not really attacking, so that's all good. Yeah, now we're in business. Nice. We are in business, Deke. We're in the business of getting you crazy juiced. Now, is this the right one? Do I have to worry about anything? Let's see. Let's check it out now that we can actually see stuff. Tractor bombs, all good. Smoke bombs. We have a lot more in the way. Love those grenades. Of inventory now. Throwables. And items that we can set. Oh. Uh, picked up a recording, but nobody's talking. Guess they erased the tape. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Oh, crap. Nope. Nope, 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 that way. Yep. I think I forgot something. Yeah, I <laughs> walked right by it. Projector. Didn't even realize. Zero had all the good shit. Okay. Keep taking that stamina, Deke. And now we picked up some experience. And a little bit more trust at Iron Mike's. And we got 1900 bucks over there. Not that it'll help much, because the only thing we can do at Iron Mike's is deal with any bike issues. I suppose that'll help. I'm going to be on the road too much that having that ability at Iron Mike's isn't going to make a difference, so not really. Whoa. All right. Heading out. Oh, boy. Well, what say you? Good night. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. Jeez. No problem. Okay. Yeah, I can hear y'all now. Forget stamina, buddy. Choose focus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Knew that was gonna be somewhat of a debacle. But not all freakers are built the same. Some can take less damage than others. Okay. Set ourselves up for the getaway. Now, what do you think? Start up there? Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Now, where is it? God damn, nest. It's gotta be close. Oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. And off we go. Hop on, get going, Deke. And let's use some of that nitrous to get some distance. One more to take care of. So let's uh, finish this puppy up and head over to Lost Lake. Run slowly, Deke. Keep your stamina. Don't forget. Keep your stamina. I smell it. Ugh, gotta be getting close. They coming out? Yeah, they're coming out wondering what the hell's going on, but that's okay. Don't care. Bye! 
All right, done with that infestation zone. 350 trust, another 1900 bucks added to the tally. Nice. Bye. It's the last nest. <laughs> Should make it safer to ride through here. Next stop is Lost Lake, and one of the only reasons I want to do that is in case I run into another hostage situation or a survivor needing to be rescued situation, I'll have the option of at least sending them over to Lost Lake and again get more credits and cash, as opposed to my only option right now which is Copeland's Camp. Because until you actually visit a camp, it don't count for nothing. So let's just head on over there. Now, sometimes when you're coming from the opposite direction over there, especially if you decide to visit Lost Lake after you've uh, crossed over at that point, because that, that's your crossover point. There's, there's the actual uh, ledge. Actually, the ledge is over there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, there could be a sniper in this tree. And sometimes, also, coming down here, you'll get marauders standing in front of the gate. But it looks like it's pretty quiet for us this time. They're gonna let me in? Yes, they're gonna let me in. Hello, peeps. You don't know who the hell I am, but what I'm uh, happy about is right there. 5,700 bucks, 1,350 and uh, getting to the first trust level which already is kind of a little bit crazy since we haven't even started the main story yet but that's okay now as you can see on the left there there's uh, nobody at the merchant stand if we just pull up there can't do anything about my weapon situation at all even though look at that Compared to, uh, <laughs> uh, it's a hell of a difference, isn't it? From, from compared to Copeland's, those guys had nothing. I don't know. I think they should uh, come over here and talk to uh, Lost Lake uh, and uh, maybe do a little bartering. Jeez. And the other thing, too, is that nobody's around to hand in bounties to. The only shop available is the mechanic. And normally you can... When you depress the R3 button, which is the right-hand joystick, you could bring up the minimap. And normally, you will see all the camp facilities available to you. You'll be able to see the icon for the merchant, you'll see the icon for the bounties, you'll see the icon for the kitchen. But the only one here is the mechanic. That's all we got. We're not going to get much from this guy other than the ability to repair and refuel. But what we can do in case you happen to miss it at Copeland's camp is still arrive here at Iron Mike's and get gas tank, number one. Can still get that and then mosey on over and pick up the nitrous. Not too bad. Not too bad. So if you missed it over getting those particular upgrades before leaving Copeland's just stop on by at the mechanic here at Lost Lake and pick up your upgrades and you're good to go let's check what time it is Ooh, 252 man that time goes fast <laughs> doesn't it taking care of all that stuff and uh yeah, so just debating, should I go to a nearer checkpoint or should I just go for it? Okay, well, I'm going to go for it. And before I do, there is a, a hostage rescue situation from a bunch of marauders that does tend to spawn. It's kind of hit or miss. Depending on the, the, the playthrough, you're, uh, the... the depending on where you're at in the playthrough. Look out, pal. <laughs> you know, if you hadn't moved, 
You wouldn't have been in any danger. I mean, I, I know I'm crappy on the bike, but I do know how to ride a little bit. Anyway. Why I bring it up is, again, I just want to show that if you go down that road, you'll definitely run into the Marauders. But they won't spawn in until you get close. However, I like to ambush the ambushers. So I'll come up this way on this road. Now, the bike is really nasty loud, so kind of want to just coast in up to a certain point. And again, because the... Just to show you where we came out, so we exited the camp at this point and then just rode along just to get this point, because this is where they usually spawn in. But let's see if they did that this time. Oh yeah, there they are. There, they're all just waiting for me to just... Son of a... Oh! Oh, you... <laughs> Mother of a gun. Okay. <laughs> Ambush on hold while we deal with the wildlife. Now, is there going to be more than one? Ten to usually, but I didn't, I didn't hear the howl this time. But as I was looking through the binoculars, I heard the footsteps, so I had a feeling it was coming. It's okay. Nobody... Nobody got disturbed, but uh, now now's the time to prep ourselves up. For right now, this is my most silent weapon. Hey, how many drifters you guys murdered today? Huh? Yeah, I can tell by looking at you. Okay, what do you think? Who should I go for? Now, there's the closest one there. Yeah. Okay. Come on, take a swing. Go ahead. There we go. Hit or miss. That's the way we are. Now, how's our medical situation? Oh, is our medical? Oh, yeah, that uh, that puppy took a lot out of me. That's okay. No worries. The hardest thing, the hardest thing when people are running after you, I think, for me anyway, is not to panic. <laughs> It's just, just to keep, maybe not steady nerves, but uh, Crap, trapped. They just not help. to get too crazy and start shooting wildly. Help! Help! Uh, I need help! You think so? Hey, 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 it's okay. You want to die out here? Look, there's a camp that... Camp? Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. And there we go. So now we got Iron Mike's showing up. We could send them to Copeland's, get some cash, but why? <laughs> I mean, you can get in a tremendous head start. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. I, 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 was, I was done for. Holy shit! You know? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, man. 
Tell him it was Deacon. Deacon St. John. Uh, of course. Stay uh, off the main roads. Don't stop. I, I don't know if he's going to an ice cream shop that he knows of, or maybe he just really had to take a leak at the camp. At the at the Marauder camp over there? Uh, because Lost Lake is over there, pal. <laughs> Iron Mike's is over there. Where you going? These NPCs, I tell you. Sometimes you just gotta shake your head. I got a use for you. Yeah, we do have a use for you. Okay. Now it's really starting. <laughs> it's really starting to uh, get dark. Yeah, now it's really starting to get late in the day. And I don't really want to tackle Iron Butte except during the daytime because there's quite a few locations I want to show you when we get to Iron Butte. Unfortunately, I cannot lock in with the cursor and uh, find out on the map where everything is. So I'm just going to have to... Sorry, I'm going to have to keep looking. Okay, to the... To the right. It's more to the right. Up that away. And I can already hear the uh, freakers. Yeah. You can see the shadow on the mountain getting higher and higher, which means night time's coming. So a little bit more to the right. Deek, up that away. There we go. Now, now we can tell now where we're at. Because we took care of the infestation nests, should be clear of freakers, ex except for the ones. Oh, now I'm hearing gunfire. That was going to be a long shot. Stop moving. Yeah, it's night time now, isn't it? All right, let's... No, we're not too badly hit. Not gonna worry about that. I don't got nothing left to craft. There might be some more over there. Don't mind if I do? I'll take the assault rifle. Again, for the most part... Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, and looky there. Picked us up a nice sidearm suppressor. Another reason why to check cars. Not just for scrap. Sometimes you'll find nice juicy bits like that too. And you might want to take note of that location. Because normally, no, oh, nothing in that one at all. That that is that is weird. But I think, uh, oh no, it should. It would normally spawn something else too. I was about to say because we picked up the sidearm suppressor from uh, that vehicle, but the uh, icons aren't showing like maximum status. So that's that's interesting. Because normally if you have enough of everything, it would show that, like like that, Micon, you've already got the max amount of uh, items to be to carry of that particular item type. 
Well, I'm going to take all this because right there, everything that just uh, appeared in the uh, beer bottle, rag, and kerosene, <laughs> this garage gives you everything for a Molotov. Craft one right there with everything you can. There are not too many freakers about, so I'm going to take a little bit of time here and just scavenge. I don't think there's much here, though. Nah. There's not a lot out here. Okay, where's my bike? Oh, but a lot of people died out this way. Oh, yeah. Pistol ammo, always good. And I get to take my bolt back. You know, I never honestly thought <laughs> that was going to come in as handy as it has. That particular skill. Okay. Sorry, I don't. I, I never remember where anything. I have a. I have a pretty bad memory for things. So, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm done scavenging at this location. It's time It's time to get to Betty Bye and uh, head over to Iron Butte, but in the daytime. So I'm heading over again to the only place where you can sleep, which is at a Nero checkpoint. And I'm just choosing this Nero checkpoint. Yeah, they're about out and about. I may have to deal with them. I'm gonna just leave the bike in a leave the bike in a position where we can make our escape. <laughs> Open the door, D. There you go. Yeah, you guys stay outside. Unfortunately, uh, now that I've now that I've uh, agitated them, I will not be able to sleep. Or will I? Oh, okay. Uh, that's a surprise. Normally, the game won't let you sleep if there are enemies nearby, but maybe that's only mission based. Oh, that that's weird. Okay, that's weird. Because many times when I've tried to take a nap and freakers are running around, uh, it just says, no, you can't sleep while enemies are nearby. I guess it uh, changed its mind. Maybe maybe it's because of where I am in the game? Oh, you learn something new every day, right, folks? And that's why you're here. Learn something new. Where are we at? Seven o'clock in the morning. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Now, again, there's no point... There's no point, but I'm just going to show you. Oh, I can fill the ammo here, sure. But you can see here that now Iron Mike's is available to purchase ammo at. Just like in the normal run of the game. Whatever weapon you have in your locker, its ammo can be replenished from the nearest camp. Despite the fact that I picked up an SAF from the open world, because it's not a purchasable weapon, I can't get ammo for that except by raiding tins or getting it off dead enemies. And you can get... I mean, the SAF is used by most enemies anyway. Very unlikely that you'll need to worry about finding ammo for that at all. I'll take that bottle in. Is he gonna bother me? Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can gas up without him getting over here. That should be it. That should be it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sun's come up, so time to head over to Iron Butte, my friends. And what we're doing is uh, we will be upgrading our weapons in order to take care of a few things. Ugh. Yeah, here's the wolf. Now when you hear the wolf cry out like that, expect... He's, he's not doing that, you know, just to uh, 
clear his throat and uh, get ready for a munch. He's uh, calling two of his friends. I think even at this crappy ass bike, I should be able to make it. Besides, I have nitrous, so I could probably boost my way out of it if I get into any trouble. All right. So just taking a route back to Lost Lake, really, I probably should have taken another route because I, I'm not stopping. I'm just going to head on through to get to our exit point from Lost Lake to be able to get into Iron Butte. And you probably guessed by now that Deke's legs of steel are going to be involved, as usual. But yeah, there's nobody at the merchant, but I was able to get ammo from him, from Iron Mike. So one of these uh, NPCs like said, oh, I got you, you, got, you got an Amazon request? All right, no problem. <laughs> Same day delivery. <laughs> you going to jump? Yes, why not? You know what? I, I think I'm going to just going to be riding next to these guys just to see them do that. Because they, they seem to, they are intent. No, not you? Okay. No acrobatics? Lazy ass. Okay. Now, I won't be able to, again, because I can't point up and down, but it'll be right there. That's the arrow. Don't think I can zoom in much because then you lose it. But that is my target. That's how we're going to leave Lost Lake behind. And head on over to Iron View. Holy! Off the bike. Get off the bike. Get off the bike. There we go. Son of a gun. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> ah, should I? Should I bother? There. Enough of that. I gotta remember to just aim slightly right, not dead on. Anybody else? Or are you just a lone ranger? You caused damage to my body, you son of a... Now I'm gonna take it out of your ass. Thank you very much. That, I think, was a nice trade-off, although I really didn't want to have to lose a medkit in the first place, but at least I got it back. <laughs> Moving on. Move out. Yeah, because I've, I've taken care of these marauders pretty, pretty recently, so they're not going to respawn that quickly. Should I bother? Should I bother? Should I bother? I, yeah, no, I'm not going to bother because I'm not going to be used. Once I trade these weapons in, especially the SAF, I want to keep the ammo available for the other weapons that I'm picking up. Because I won't be able to replenish them from a camp since they're going to be picked up from the world and not bought yet. But we will fuel up. There is more fuel. Oh, oh. and there's uh, marauders <laughs> waiting for me. Okay. It's funny how I, I rode by and they didn't. Uh... Yeah, something's wrong. Your buddies are dying. What's going on? God damn it, she's dead, she's dead. I'm hit, I'm hit. Uh. 
All right. That ought to take care of those guys. Oh, I hear something. Oh, it's just some rain hitting the metal roof. I thought it was footsteps. Thought it was footsteps for a second, but that's all right. Did I take any hits? What am I looking at? Oh, well, they have a bandage, so yeah, why not? Well, I'm here. I don't think I'm going to find much here either. That was kind of funny, though. Just ride right on by and... Uh, on my no noisy ass bike. Oh, you got some scrap on you? How's the bike? Ah, it's 100%. Okay. Need this. Okay. That should be it. Sometimes these encounters aren't worth the uh, trouble. But I just happened to. <laughs> Happened to check it out and uh, come across them. Figured might as well take care of them. Not that I'm coming. Ah, I was hoping there was something there, but nope. Now, what's my time? Nope. Priority one is to get to Iron Butte and pick up some kick ass weapons. And that is the next portion of this video. Now, you're going to say to yourself, what are we talking about? Now, normally I'd fill up because there's a gas can way over there, but you can see that it's barricaded. But in order to get up into Iron Butte, there's a nice ledge up there and a series of rocks that we are going to make our climb up to. Always a good idea to save. And then finally take a look at where we have traveled from. I can move left and I can move right, but I can't move up and down. So, yeah, just traveling, traveling across to this point. Okay, there are a couple of ways to get up here, but one of the easier methods is just to get Deke's legs of steel going and take that line so that you can get up to that rock. So essentially at this time, sorry, I'm just going to quickly show it. This time of day, 11 o'clock in the morning, the shadow of the rock actually shows you the line that you can take, that you, that you should take to avoid falling on your ass. And then just right down there, easy. Sometimes. And then part two of the strategy is we wanna hit this rock face at a particular point so that we get geek climbing up and over. And now we're in Iron Butte. So we are going to get two amazing weapons from this region. One is out in the open. We can just go grab it. And the other... Yeah, there's there's gunfire. I know. We're not going to engage. We are not engaging in the gunfire. Because they're fighting freaks up there, so not going to bother. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. And the uh, other major weapon... The MG-45 is at a nearby Nero site, unfortunately occupied by Rippers. And the Ripper holding it is not going to give it up so easily. But that's a little later on. But for right now, we're stopping by a hidden loot location to pick up some very valuable throwables. 
Now, I don't think I can take the bike up here. Nah, not gonna bother. Get back up there, Deke. Going for a jog. It's pretty straightforward. Just run along this cliffside and up a few ledges. Around the corner here. But right at the top of this basically beautiful lookout, which looks over the whole Iron Butte region. Just, just spectacular. Just really, really spectacular scenery. You even see the uh, ambush camp over on the uh, other side in uh, Belknap. When we just go a little bit further, and there is a campsite right here with some very useful items in that box. Look at all that. A proximity bomb, proximity mine, and frag grenade. Which now tops out our frag grenade capacity. It almost tops out our proximity mine capacity, but we now have a proximity bomb. I'm not really good with those <laughs> with those <laughs> i like the attractors more so than anything else but again if uh we're trying to get deke as op as possible you definitely want to make this stop and then we just uh, head on back down and we're just going to go a little further to another loot location with some more goodies Yeah, <laughs> while I'm here, uh, does a couple of things. If you're looking to get Deke to 100%, which I am not, I'm not a 100%er. I, I play the game and I get through the game and that's all I care about. I don't really, uh, I find I find doing the 100% thing just really tedious. It's, it's, not, it's not my favorite part of doing a game. Essentially not a completionist. There are plenty of those that you can follow for that stuff. So there's one area that you'll want to stop by. And as I mentioned, not too much farther along here, just up the road a bit, is going to be another access point that D can go up to. And just looking at uh, where we are in the world, there's some farmhouses in the back there. Let's just take a quick look on the map. Yep, just to the east and pretty much a stone throw from where we just were, where we picked up all those nice little throwables. So this is another hidden loot location that we are going to add to our inventory. So let's just head up there and go get it. And I've read on Reddit somewhere that it's like, it's very interesting how not too many people are able to find some, some of the Ripper weapons that, uh, that they have. But if you come along here, you will find one that most often is not available unless you take out the Ripper that's yielding the weapon. And that particular weapon can be found right here on this poor person. Yeah, the Ripper Axe. It's got better durability than the axe I'm carrying. Doesn't deal as much damage, but I think the trade-off is pretty good. So, until we get to Crater Lake and upgrade our melee weapon, I'm just going to have that in my pocket as well. So, another box of goodies. Just sitting out here in the open. Nobody to fight. Easy peasy. Look at that, another proximity mine, another attractor, another robot bomb. Boy, these two locations have just absolutely added to our OP abilities here. Look, the attractors are all maxed out. We've got the proximity mine now maxed out. Definitely highly recommend stopping by these two loot locations. And considering that we are going after 
um, the next weapon, the MG45 that's being held by a Ripper Heavy, these particular things might definitely come in handy. Can't argue with that. I, I definitely would recommend that you don't miss these. The, these, are, these are amazing. The best part, too, they will respawn at these locations after a number of days like uh, you normally would when you advance time. If you first don't succeed at the uh, upcoming checkpoint where we got to deal with the rippers, definitely uh, head back to Lost Lake, nap a bit, and uh, come back and uh, refill on those handy throwables. But right there, my friends, that is our target. And I don't know if we can see them from here. No, not yet. But that is a Nero site that we are going to ambush these guys. I don't think they'll see me if I climb. I'll try. The hell? So the guard tower is for, right? Now, if I had some longer range weapons, I'd be more inclined to take some pot shots at these guys. But it's just not feasible. Okay. Yeah, you can't roll off there, Deke. You're just going to have to... But you can roll off this. It's just going to be a challenge to ride up to these guys on this noisy, noisy, noisy bike. And that's why we're going to take a wide berth. And once we get up to this part, we can coast down to be a little quieter. set the bike up for a quick getaway if we need to. Okay, so there's our location. The Rogue Tunnel Nero Checkpoint. Which is blocked off from the other side, so there's no access. I will admit that Ripper Camps, and this one in particular to get this weapon, I hate with a passion. Another MMU. Wonder what Nero left behind this time. Yeah, I hate these guys. <laughs> Stop moving, stop moving. Okay. okay, at least I got that. Yes, I'm here. I just want to get that big guy up here. Because if I can get him up here, and he's the only one I have to deal with. Okay. Burn, you asshole. I'm moving up. I need covering fire. Move over there. 
Surround him! Come on, get around him! No thanks. I would like to get this MMU done before nightfall, though. Where am I at? Yeah, okay, time to... Uh... This is no time... ...to welch on my health. I hate when I can hear them on my left. Because the last thing I want to have happen is to be surrounded. Or be flanked. Always got to keep an eye on that for that. Oh, where's our barbecue, buddy? Yeah. I'll take a smoke bomb. And I'll take a sterilizer. Mine now. However, the crossbow is still very effective in certain situations. There we go. And as you can see, Topping off. SAF is still a good weapon to have because most of the uh, enemies that you encounter will have that weapon. That is their weapon of choice. Either it's very plentiful in the apocalypse, or that's just the way it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> However, we do have... A silenced weapon. Oh, what are you doing running through here? I'm just going to cause trouble. Well, if you see me, do something about it, punk. <laughs> ah, no, I must be found. I only took a bite. That's okay. I can deal with that. Get a little closer. Come on, come on, come on. You guys, you guys love setting yourselves on fire. Yeah. Here, let me help you. Well, that was a very quiet death. Okay, sure. Okay. Got to make sure we get all these speakers so that we're not bringing freakers down or horde on our ass. There's a patrol over there. 
Not really too worried about that. Because they don't ever come by here, so. It's all well and good. Okay. I think we're in good shape. I never remember how many of them there are. If you can. But the sun is getting low, as they say, in their parlance. And like I said, I just want to take care and make sure. Yeah. Now in this case, before I get in there, now as I said before, tins are dynamic. Given that I now have a new weapon, watch what happens. Yep. Now I've got machine gun ammo. Okay, so we'll go back to this because I don't want to wake up the hordes. I know there was a speaker over there somewhere. That's all quiet, eh? I think I took them all out. Okay. Well, we'll find out if I did. Pretty sure I took them all out over there. Is there one over there? No. All right, here it goes. No, Deke, you actually busted. I had a gas, of course. Yeah, I know it's out of gas, Deke. You actually have to turn Jenny's around. Out of gas. Pick Jenny's that. Always out of gas. <laughs> you gotta pick that up first, pal. Jeez. Spatial unawareness, Deke. Spatial awareness. Good. Now give it a shot, punk. Okay. Here we go. This shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Yeah, now we're in business. Anything coming up? No, we got them all. Nice. And just in the nick of time, too. Excellent. Yes, finally. All right. Now let's see what they got there. That was an all-day endeavor. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. But as we check our locker, we see that in the primary slot, nothing there. Able to top up the sidearm. And we don't have the MG45 either. Those two weapons, the primary and the special one, because they're found in the world, even though we have them on our back, we cannot store them in the locker. Definitely want to keep an eye on those two. We just don't have the trust or the credits yet to buy the weapon to be able to have it permanently with us. Such is the game. Nero injector, just with the doctor. But that's okay, as we continue juicing Deke up to the max of stamina. Get some nice experience here, some more trusted iron mics, and 2,500 more bucks. Nice. Whoa, that'll do it. How's my health? You know what, since there's a med kit right there, take the opportunity to do that and there's our cot all right now there's just one more Nero injector in this region that I want to get to plus the other weapon and get rid of my SAF and exchange it for another weapon so let's do that but since it's six o'clock at night we are going to grab some shot eye exactly Deke what you said not having to deal with freakers at night always beneficial and even more so this particular Nero checkpoint now that we've cleared it 
we have a great location go back from it. which to advance the clock should we choose and have those two loot locations respawn their inventory. I mean, we're just talking about absolutely wonderful items, those throwables, and they are really close to this location. So definitely something that you want to keep in your back pocket. Now, before I get the bike, I really should go get the fuel can. Gas up. Shit! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's not like doors at normal houses, Deke. Uh, these are <laughs> keypad locked. <laughs> but yeah, think about the uh, advantage now of having this location open and being able to advance time at our whim to be able to force those items at those loot locations to respawn. That's just definitely a benefit that I think really makes this game a whole lot different to play strategy-wise. Let's get up to the bike. She is one of those freakers that's a real pain in the ass. That's okay. Don't care. Leaving you behind, honey. Bye-bye. I think we'll be able to see it from here. But we are making our way toward the Iron Butte Horde. Because like I said... Now, is there going to be marauders here? Probably. Yeah. Okay, well, they blew up the car over there, so they were checking out that part of the road, and I'm just going to nitrous my way out of this. There we go. Still got a crappy-ass bike, but that's all right. We're on to the last and easiest part of this journey. And being in the daytime, we're not going to run into as many enemies. Which is just fine by me. Okay, folks, here we are. Don't need to hide, Deke. They can't hear you. They can't see you. But they are there. Ready and waiting. And this is what I'm here for. Just right here. Out in the open. Not even that far. From the Nero checkpoint. So, bye-bye, SAF. Hello, US-556. Five, five, I don't think there's anything, because it's already a fully loaded weapon, so... But, I can pick up stuff for... Yep, the machine gun! <laughs> and there's a cop car right there, so you know what? Let's see what we got. Yeah. Now, if I was a braver sort of fella, I'd probably take on that horde because you can clear them out anytime they are available. You don't have to wait for the game. Again, I'm not about waiting for the game. But in this case, I want to get the best melee weapon there is in the game. And in order to do that, we're going to take one more little ride. And we're making our way to that ambush camp. I don't know if you can see the smoke over there, but that's where we're going. Because also over there is the last Nero injector in this region. There are only two. And if I were also interested in getting back to see if those uh, 
grenades might have respawned, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Now, normally, when you're going after... It's another crash site. And there are a bunch of rippers there. And I don't feel like dealing with them. And not only that, my nitrous is not going to get me up there. There's just no way I'm going to make that jump. But that's okay. Because I don't need to make that jump. I just need to make my way up those rocks. Legs of steel, my friends. Legs of steel. Yeah, and those freakers are not going to get up here. So, bye bye. So yeah, in case you're wondering where we're at, there's a Redwood RV park. Now normally, in the game, this is a populated park. This is a populated area, but not at this time. Yeah, poor little, poor little freakers. Poor little freak couldn't, couldn't get munchy bunchy on Deke, right? Stuck with doing what you got. All right, that's okay. But yeah, so that's the uh, that's the jump that you would normally have to make from from way over. <laughs> yeah, that no, I'm not gonna do it with nitrous one. You probably need at least nitrous two, probably nitrous three. But I'm too impatient. I just want to get here and get Deke OP. Yes, narrow injector. So let's get at it. Go ahead. Yep. Gonna keep building on that stamina. That'll do it. All right, Deke, let's uh, check you out. Oh, I got a skill point I still have to use. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. No balance with the endurance part of it. I'm going stamina all the way. And now we let's use that skill point to get us closer to carry that way. Uh, thief in the night. Yes, let's let's release our inner ninja and get uh, get a little bit more uh, stealthy. At least, uh, I'm, honestly, who knows? Who cares? <laughs> I mean, the amount of noise you can run around doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right, awesome. That's it for this one, folks. I'm uh, gonna grab the gas can here and fuel up the. the bike but we're gonna pause at this point in the game and come back in the next episode heading over to the crater lake region to get deke outfitted with even more op upgrades if this helped you or even just entertained you don't forget to hit that like button and by all means share this video to anybody and every other days goner you can find be good to yourself and others you meet out there.